What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. This is the Prusa Mini. It's a budget friendly FDM 3D printer that prints amazing, but it's not perfect. However, the folks over at Prusa have just recently released an upgrade for this unit that solves one of the biggest issues that I've had with this machine over the past year of use. And today we're gonna get that installed and take a look at the results. This is normally where I'd have some fancy graphics and music, but I'm just too lazy to deal with that these days. So I'm talking about the Super Penda upgrade that was just released the other week. Uh, the Prusa team made a big announcement that they had some upgrades that were gonna be available. They had a new build plate that was gonna be available for their MK series of printers. And then for the Prusa Mini, they've updated the Penda probe here. They now have a Super Penda probe and I immediately heard that they were releasing that with that announcement and put in my order and just received my Super Penda today. So I'll be installing that here. I'm not gonna bore you guys with the installation process. They do have that pretty well documented, or at least it looks like that there on their website. I'll be running through that. If I run into any issues, I'll make sure to call that out. But what I'm really interested in seeing is how is it printing after installing that Penda upgrade. The biggest issue that I've had with this machine is that I have not been able to get consistent prints from the get-go off of this unit. And what I mean by that is typically before I run off and print anything, I have to preheat this for about five to ten minutes. I don't know why or what exactly is behind that. I saw some other folks comment about that maybe six to eight months ago or so about that they were doing that and we're seeing better results when they would start uh, preheating before running off and printing. And I started doing that as well and would see much more consistent results with doing the preheat start. If I did not preheat it and I just tried to run off and 3D print something, it would still heat up the bed and the nozzle like it should, but I don't know if it just didn't give it enough time and the probe wouldn't do its thing quite right. And I just would not get prints to adhere quite right on the build plate, which would result in failed prints. As soon as I did that preheat process, I would almost 100% of the time get my prints to adhere properly. So this upgrade will hopefully resolve that issue that I was previously seeing. So let me just pull up the Prusa blog here for anybody that's not familiar with the Super Penda and their announcement. The Super Penda is a temperature independent, features a much higher quality sensor and better quality components overall, plus it does not need a thermistor. And then in bold down below, the owners of the Mini should see a noticeable improvement in the consistency of their first layer. That is exactly what I'm interested in. Forget all that other stuff. That sounds great. I don't know what all that has to do with anything. I'm not super technical, but that last statement is exactly what I wanted to hear and is exact the exact issue that's holding me back from basically saying this is a perfect machine that I would highly recommend for damn near everyone to pick up. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just really quick here, run a test print that I was planning on printing anyways for this. The printer is completely cold. I haven't printed anything, anything on this all day. I haven't preheated it or anything. I wanna see if it will replicate the print layer, that first layer issue that I was talking about that this upgrade should hopefully solve. So again, I have not installed the Super Penda. This is using the standard Penda probe that comes with the Prusa Mini. So we're gonna let this do its thing and we'll see how it goes. So of course, this is printing perfectly from a cold start as I'm recording a video for, on this issue and can't exactly replicate it. Uh, I can promise you that I have run into this multiple, and I mean multiple times, uh, so have a lot of other people. So looking forward to trying this out. I'm gonna be upgrading it regardless. It also just goes to show that this machine really is pretty dang great regardless of the upgrade or not. It still prints pretty spectacularly. This is really laying down pretty easily here. I'm gonna end up stopping this and reprinting it with the Super Penda installed. So here I'm doing the install and they mentioned that the cables are upgraded. Uh, the thicker cable, it's one solid thicker cable. This was the original Penda with the three separate wires. So yeah, it is a, a good bit heavier duty than the original. Also the original Penda here has an, uh, like a yellow orangish tip. The new Super Penda is like a gray, gray? It's like a gray purple tip there. All right, so I've got everything installed. I haven't tried it out yet. I'm gonna power it up here in just a second. Just wanted to mention it did not take very long to do, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Probably could have been a lot quicker than that. Uh, the longest thing probably was just 
getting the wires out of this sleeve and then put back into the sleeve. All right, and here we go. I've run a few prints with the upgraded Prusa Mini. The first one of these was a back of the case here that I found over on Prusa Printers for the display panel there on the, the side of the machine. I did end up getting a little bit of lifting on one of the corners, but I don't necessarily think that had to do with the Pinda more so with my bed leveling. I didn't have that low enough, I guess flush enough with the bed where it was properly adhering. Uh, I then wanted to print something that was a little bit wider and took up a little bit more of the print room, something that I've been meaning to print for the past few weeks now. And this is one of Eastman's newest files here that's available on his Patreon. This is the Damian Wayne bust here. So I'm gonna get this off of the build plate and we'll take a look at it here. All of the supports, I should say. Look at that, pop right off. So uh, all the supports printed properly on the print as well. Look at how clean those come off. So excited about this. Everything really stuck nicely here with the second print that I did. And again, very happy with the results that I'm getting off of the Prusa Mini, no shock there. Again, this is probably one of the better FEM printers that I have at my disposal here in my workshop. And here we can take a look at Damian Wayne. This beautiful bust printed at 0.2 millimeter layer height here on the Prusa Mini. I did end up having a little bit of a layer shift or gap at the top of the head, unfortunately. I'm wondering if that had to do more so with the I think I might have did 5% infill on this, 5 or 8% infill to help try and speed up some of the print time. It was 0.2 millimeter layer height and I believe it was at uh, 50 millimeters per second for the print speed uh, on this. One thing that I absolutely love also about Prusa Slicer is that when it says that it's going to take 10 hours and I think it was like 2 minutes, it literally takes 10 hours and two minutes for it to print. It's pretty spot on with its estimates on like Simplify 3D or Cura. So time will tell if the Super Penda upgrade actually addresses the issue that I was previously seeing, but so far it looks pretty promising here. Going from a cold start immediately into printing and uh, having the prints properly adhere to the build plate. I'm gonna be obviously using this here, continuing to use this machine primarily for my Etsy jobs uh, over the upcoming weeks. And again, I will be doing a full on one year look back on this machine and a review of the unit here uh, and just my overall experience that I've had with it over the past year. So thanks so much for watching. And again, if you're interested in picking this up or the Prusa Mini, I'll have links down below to the Prusa site where you can find those. Those are affiliate links and they help out the channel here. So thank you so much. And I will see y'all next time. Bye now.